Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to take the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures, another step, uh, take another step in that. Last week, we were playing with the ward off energy and the ward off posture. And that one was we're going from from uh, to a, a very young posture. That is the energy, the the Peng Jin that animates the ward off posture is an up and out energy. So it's it's going from yin to yang. So we let off that one with a very yin meditation to really get tune into that like super yin kind of energy and and from that then it became easier to contrast the you know the the yang chi that that animates the peng jin so this week we're going to play around with the next move in the in the form which is rollback which is a way of practicing lu jin which is a down and in energy and so the power of of Lu Jin is in that it's going from yang to yin. And it's something that uh, I've been fascinated by for for decades because I remember back uh, when I was competing, it would, uh, nobody was using a ward off, at least doing it well. And, uh, and I myself didn't, wasn't able to execute it very well. And so I made me think that like, okay, either I'm doing something wrong or this move doesn't work. And so it's probably more likely that I was doing something wrong. So then I, I kind of started to explore it. I started to take it apart and see what exactly is involved with it. And the, uh, the way that a lot of people think about it, they think of it as a very yin posture, which it is, but it, if you start from yin and go to yin, you're not traveling very far. So the it's um, your ability to execute and to use it as a an effective maneuver is not real high. If you if you do it that way, if you just if you start with as a as a kind of a mushy soft mushy kind of kind of move, and then you move to soft and mushy, then you're probably not going to get much of a much chin out of that out of that operation so the the key to it is that it's going from yang to yin so that is we're starting off with a yang expression that is the, an up and out kind of kind of thing and then moving to a down and in and that going from the that the, the difference potential between those two energies those two poles and oppositions are what creates the movement. That's what creates the creates the uh, the effect of it. So we're going to do it, and we're going to this time we're going to play with both yang and yin energies in our in our meditation, and then we'll go into the form. We'll do it once through, and then we'll we'll go into the rollback posture and explore it as a you know, as a, as a Lu energy. Okay, so why don't you stand up and we'll, uh, we'll get started. Yep. And we're going to uh, begin just by getting our three pillars in. That is, when we get our central equilibrium, we're going to establish it by feeling into the balls of the feet, reaching with the crown of the head. And by going into the balls of the feet, we're going to get more of a young fullness from the posture. Reach with the crown of the head and tuck in the chin and open your jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Knees are unlocked. And just feel yourself sinking into the floor. Notice any impulse to push away from the floor and just kind of 
go with that. Actually rise a little bit and then uh, sink down and find yourself going in even deeper into the yin. So we're going to keep that crown point there reaching up. That's going to be the one yang point. That's our north star there. And it establishes the polarity. So we have this big earth chi contacted with our feet. This very fine yang energy that's coming from the, you know, the crown of the head. And to feel this, your hips softening, you want to get nice and sung in your qua. Reach out a little bit with your elbow, your arms are slightly rounded. This opens up the, the shoulder gates. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel into your fingers. And since we're in springtime, I want you to feel your fingernails as though you have some claws there. And that what that does is it enhances the wood chi. So it's a yang chi, and that kind of you feel that circulating throughout your connective tissue system. Relax your lower back. Soften, allow your sacrum to drop. And feel your spine elongating. So first we're gonna get really nice and yin here, get that point of contrast. So we're going from the balls of the feet and sink into the heels. And relax. And bend the wrists, the palms are facing down. And feel yourself sinking down into the earth, pressing down with the palms of your hands. Reaching up, still with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin. And feel yourself, with each breath, find yourself sinking a little deeper. Feel the, the floor is sticky. Because it, you know, the earth, it just wants to give you a nice hug here. So you're feeling that that earth energy is attracting. We're taking the opportunity here to discard anything, thought forms, stale energies, anything like that. Just dump them out through your feet into the earth. Give back to the earth. Empty out. Breathe. Tip. Place that tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose. Feel yourself breathing into, into your belly. Use your diaphragm. Good. Now go into the balls of your feet and bend your wrists so your fingers are hanging and reach up with your wrists up to about waist height and then reach out with your fingers and press down with your hands and sink into your heels again. Just feel into that. Feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper, relax. And separate your hands very gently. And hold that. Relax your shoulders. Reach down with your elbows. Empty out. And press down. Sink in your heels. Even more, release down. Feel the heaviness of your arms, the heaviness of your legs. Everything is very heavy. 
Move into the balls of your feet. And reach with your wrists. Your elbows stay down, relax. Your wrists are pulling your arms up. Your fingers are hanging. Reach with the wrists up to about chest height and reach with the fingers and the balls of your feet. Your, feel that yang expansion. Now continue upward, reaching with your wrists, opening and the balls of the feet expanding. See yourself being pulled upward by the yang chi. And go into your heels and hands come down. Reach down with your elbows. Relax your wrists. Fingers are following the wrists. Down, down, down. This time, everything about 90% yin. Just reaching up that little bit with the crown of your head. We're getting a contrast here between the, the yang and yin chi. And you go into the balls of your feet, bend your wrists, very relaxed. Reaching with the wrists, opening, expanding, reaching on you know, the balls of your feet, yourself being pulled upward, filling. Feel yourself getting very light, expansive. Big helium balloon. Now go to your heels and relax. In, in. Feel the heaviness of your limbs. And feel the energy circulating inside your body. Feel your blood circulating. And hands come down. And relax and sink. Letting go. Step in and take a deep breath. Go into the balls of your feet, coming up, opening, very young, expansive, and then heels and sink. Yin, yin, yin. Empty out. Throw away the chi. Throw away your thoughts. Here. Just dissolve into the emptiness. Great. Let's um, 
Let's do the Yang Ching Fu's 13 original postures now. We'll do it nice and slow. And uh, for those of you who are checking this out on YouTube, you know, just follow along as best you can. There's lots of these videos that we've been doing. So you can go back and, and take it from the beginning. But for right now, just, just follow along and just try to feel into it and feel that going between the expansiveness and the contraction, the yang and the yin, and kind of tune into that, but mostly just kind of get into the flow of it. All right, so let's, uh, I'll turn my back to you so you can follow along. And pause for a moment and really just Get your three pillars in and just really establish your position. Empty out. And begin.
Okay, so last week we were doing our ward off. So this is a, a very ward off right arm, very expansive yang posture. The energy is coming up, up and out. And notice in the, in the yang cheng fu 13 virtual posture, there is a, a definite pronounced forward attitude with this. It's not back here. It's it's definitely in that front leg and very rooted in that. And from that that yin foundation comes this yang expansion into the into the uh, into the right arm. Um, but coming from there, so we're going from this yang posture, and we're going to then get even more yang. We're going to extend. We're going from here to, oh, we're going to even get more, at least with the upper body. The lower body is going to get more yin. So that is, we're going to, we're going to spiral down into the quad. You got to set the knee and spiral down to the quad. So what you're doing now is you're, the lower part of your body is getting more yin. It's drilling down into the earth and allowing that earth chi to come up. So that's 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 the yin part there that kind of opens that, and then you know from that though we're going to the upper body says oh no we're going to get even more yang that is we're going to expand outward. This is this is a reaching out from that posture, from the from the ward off posture. So if you just take it from from here we're going so we feel the you know feel the heel of your right foot. Set the right knee, and then you want to release down into the into the quad. So you're using your yao, your the 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 lower part of your spine. You're down here, your sacrum and coccyx, and we're using the yao to 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 turn the body and to spiral down into that. Notice that my central equilibrium is right over the right leg in this. So what I don't want to do is is lean in any way or twist, I want to, uh, just coming down here, my torso still stays, stays the same. So only thing, everything's happening here at the, at the waist. The yao is driving it. The kwa is the yin part, it's releasing it. And so my arms are just following that. My right arm is, is going, I notice I'm, I have my, my, my left hand there, because it's going to be a fixed relationship. That is, all that's happening is here is I'm opening from the elbow, right? I'm just noticing I'm just opening from the elbow as I turn. So I'm turning like this. The elbow stays at the same same place, and all I'm doing is whoop, I'm just reaching out with my right hand when I do that. So oftentimes people will will open up from the shoulder, and this actually works against you. It, it kinks the hose in the shoulder, it creates muscular tension, and it's a very weak muscular connection. Whereas the, the gin that you can produce just by doing this is pretty significant, right? Much more than you can get by, by reaching out like that with, from, the from the shoulder. So we're we're having this this here. The left hand is going to just rotate like that. So notice that that's a fixed relationship too. My left arm is not going anywhere. It's going from here to here. It's just rotating. So very took like that. So I end up with uh, with my I'm turning my quad. My uh, hips are turning about. You know, I'm trying to get it around 45 degrees, but it's, you know, 35, 40, 45 degrees. And my body is turning with that. The arms are turning with that. And what you're going to end up with is this. You're going to end up with your right arm reaching out a little farther than your left. And so we have this, this yang reaching here, this yang expansion. The lower half is yin, the... the the, the upper half is yang, so we have poles in opposition. So this is creating that, that 
energy differential that between the between the uh, between the hands and the feet, and so that means that oh, we got we're 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 pulling the rubber band with that. So the energy wants to go somewhere now. Okay, so we're going to we could just go from here and just turn like this, but. When I do that, I lose most of my energy. That's because I'm just my I'm just relying on momentum there to get the job done. I've I've lost my internal connections when I do that. So what I want to do is this. I'm going here, I'm I'm opening like that. So where am I? I'm in my my right leg. It's about 80, 90 percent in that right leg. I really have settled into that. I'm reaching with my arm. So the yang expansion sinking down into my quad, so the yin there. And now I'm going to feel my left heel. And I'm going to set my left knee and spiral down to the right. So this is counterintuitive for a lot of people. So they want to they want to say, hey, I'm going from point A to point B. What's the fastest distance? I go straight there. No, we want to, if I want to go turn left, I want to first turn right. So I'm sinking that left leg since this is going to be my this is going to be my foundation. This is my substantial leg now. So I'm still have my hands up here. They're still in, in that young position. I've gone from yin right leg now to ah uh, yin left leg. I'm sitting down to that. And notice I've got my central equilibrium over that left leg now. Still holding my arms out here. So this mm, this is keeping that energy differential. My arms are are, are loosey goosey. They're not. They're, there's no muscular tension there at all. But the energy is pulling taut, right? We're getting. You're pulling the bowstring back when you do that. You're sinking into that, into that left leg. Notice what I'm not doing is this. And this is something a very common. You see people that kind of go back like this to turn. No, that's you get no chi, get no jin when you do it that way. So notice that I go like this. I sink in here and. I'm, my butt does not go back past my, my left heel, right? I'm not sitting back here. I'm still over my left foot and I'm gonna turn, release my, my quad. We're talking about the left quad now. It's, so all the action is happening in my substantial left leg. I've gone for about 90% of my, my right leg to about 90% of my left leg now. I'm, I'm really, I'm loaded up here and, and I have my arms reaching. So the arms extending in this yang position and the leg sinking down into that yin is creating that energy differential. So now I want to take this, this energy and I'm going to feel the ball of my left foot. And as I do that, I'm going to turn. I feel the ball of my left foot, set my left knee, and I'm going to use my yao, my sacrum, to turn my body, and my qua is going to be turning. I'm going to be turning my body to the left now. And as I turn, I continue to reach out. My arms are still extending. They're still very young. And now my yao is driving the body and arms come down to about belt high. My hands come down to about belt high. Notice that my elbows are rounded. I'm reaching out and feel into your, your hands right now. Notice that there's a whole lot of action going on there. You're getting a whole lot of chi in your hands because we're expressing the jin now through the hands. There's a connection now from, from your, your substantial left foot through your body in an unbroken, continuous uh, connection of your connective tissue. That's right, your connective tissue, the tensegrity of your connective tissue is making this one uh, um, very uh, supple um, 
tensile structure and the which then allows the chi to flow through your connective tissue system. And so what we have here, the vector then is from here down, to, 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 boom. So the energy is down and in. So even though my hands are, are deflecting out to the side, that, that's the posture, the chi is coming down and, and in through my left foot. And I'm extending through my hands as a, uh, you know, as, as an expression of that. It's coming through from my center and expressing out through my hands. So let's try that again. Here we go. We're going to ward off with the right hand. So really settle into that right leg. You want to, so the, notice that the back leg in this part, in this uh, form is almost straight. It's, it's, it's not hanging. It's, it's almost straight and the back and the back leg form like a, like a, uh, a plane. It's a, 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 a slanted plane. Your, your body is really heavily settled into that, that substantial right leg. But now you feel the heel of your right foot. What does that do? That says yin. That says, oh, okay, I'm releasing down. Heel and set the knee and then uh, use my yaw to turn and open. Remember the arm, the right arm is just straightening out. The elbow stays in that same relationship to your body. The left hand just rotates about 90 degrees. So here we are. We set, oh, we settle in there. Sink into that left, that right leg. Feel the yin of that. Reach with your hands, reach with your fingers, feel those, those fingernails, those talons on your fingers. And that is, that's young, that's a young expression. Also, you're reaching from the crown of your head and extending upward. So that's creating this, that young. And so hold that for a moment and just feel into that, that separation, because we want to separate the yin and the yang. That's how we get, that's how we get the, uh, uh, the, we create Jin. Okay. Now feel the heel of your left foot. Set the left knee and spiral down. Rotate your hips. And you're spiraling down to the right. On your left leg, you're spiraling down to the right. We're going to be turning to the left. So we want, first we want to go to the, to the right. So, that too is creating stored energy. Feel into your hands. Notice that they're they're very full right now. There's a lot of a lot of chi there. Really want to feel into the heel of your left foot. Really find yourself settling down. And now we're going to go young, and we're going to feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee and turn. Use your yao to turn, turn, turn. Reaching, 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 and open. So now we, we have this, this um, expression of the Lu Jin. We've gone from very young and the, the path, the direction of the energy is, is down and in, but it, um, um, It's never wholly yin because then there'd be no there'd be no power to it. We need that yin yang competition that goes on between them. They have to they have to be in conflict with each other in order to be able to create some sort of energy flow. Okay, here we go again. We're going to ward off right and feel the. Heel of your right foot, set the right knee, and spiral down to the right, and gently open. Feel, feel your arms very soft. Feel the heaviness of your arms, reaching with the fingers, sinking into that right claw, that right foot, 
Feel the connection from your foot all the way through to your fingertips. Now feel the heel of your left foot and spiral down to the right. You're still reaching out with your, with your hands, with your fingers. And you're loading up that left claw. And now turn ball of your left foot and turn, 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 reach, 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 reach. And then pause and just feel into, feel into that energy. Feel the fullness in your body as you, as you get this. You're getting, there's a lot of yin stuff coming up from the earth now. It's expressing through the fingers, but it's primarily a yin, yin chi here that's, that's happening in your body. Even though the, we depend on the yang to give, give the arm some substantiality. If I'm, if I'm turning and my arms are, are empty, then, then there's no, there's no impetus. There's, there's nothing to convince my partner to go with my hands. So what I want to do is I want to, oh, I'm, I'm attaching to my partner. And there's this yin quality there. Even though I'm reaching out to create a structure, the yin of my chi is going down. It's going down and in. So there's a vacuum that's sucking my partner in. It's like, you know, come on, come on, we're going this way, you know. And particularly if my partner is, is aggressively, you know, pushing at me, I say, oh, okay, we're going to do this. And, oh, why don't you go over right over here and sit down right over there. Yeah, is that comfortable? Okay, very good. And that way you're, ah, you're, oh, you're taking that, but that reaching with your arms so that you have some tensegrity in the structure. If you collapse the arms, then you got nothing. So we have this combination of the substantiality of the ah uh, the posture, the the tensegrity of, of 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 the of the whole body, that substantiality and the insubstantiality of the chi and the intent and the shen as it's going and saying, oh yes. There's an inevit inevitable movement that comes with that. It's just, it's sucking in with the uh, with the with the energy there. So this makes a perfect contrast with the with uh, the ward off that just preceded it. And that's why I think the uh, you know these these two moves come together in in a lot of young family forms is you're going from the simplicity of the up and out energy of the expansiveness of, of Pong Jin and going into the ah, the down and in of Lu Jin. So those two are generally paired. So there's the, 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 the two simplest up and out, down and in. And then it gets more complicated from there as we go through the various forms. But they also are the yin and yang and they are found in every movement, those, those, those energies, because we're, we're using them at different places. They're just different combinations. So uh, let's see. How about we uh, just do the last two movements then. Uh, the ward off going into the rollback and just do those a few times and just really feel the contrast between the yang of the ward off posture and the yin of the uh, the uh, rollback. So between the, the pong, the yang of pong, and the yin of, uh, of lu. All right, so we've, we're going from here, the left foot's forward, and we've just executed our, our punch. Another yang expression. So as you sink into your right heel, the left hand circles up, your body spirals down to the right, your right hand opens and circles around, makes this vertical circle. Pivot on your left heel. 
And just feel into that for a moment. You're just feeling into your feeling your left heel. The left hand is is up. Your right hand is reaching down, and just feel those. We're we're creating poles in opposition as we go here. Now you feel the heel of the right foot push your uh, of your left foot push your left knee forward. Set that, and now you're going to spiral down into the left claw and settle into that left leg and turn. So your right foot comes up. You can make the step all the way up to here if you want, but, but for our purposes right now, we want to just kind of hang out here and just feel into that. So what are we doing? We're establishing our yin here. This is, we're dropping down into that left claw and we are, arms are very relaxed. The, even the structure here of my, my arms is not very young. It's, it's more of a, uh, you know, a hanging out kind of kind of thing because we're going from from yin to yang in this one. So we're we're settling in here. Notice that I'm in my center of equilibrium. What does that do? That permits the big chi to move through. The big chi, the chi of the earth, the chi of the of the heavens, is filling, is filling, and is animating my posture. So now I'm going to step forward with the with the right foot, set the heel of that, and then push my right knee forward till it's just a little bit forward of vertical, right? What I don't want to do is this. I don't want to push my knee so far forward so I hear, I feel my knees start to strain. I want to, because this, anything, anytime the knee is starting to strain, it's telling you that you're, you're doing it wrong. It's telling you you're putting too much, too much work, it's doing too much work. If you set it like this, then the knee virtually disappears. So notice I'm spiraling down to the left. I'm loading up that left wall and feeling into that and releasing down, down, down. So I'm, this is my, my yin before I go into my yang expansion. Because now I'm going to use my yao to turn my body and as I do that, I reach with my right elbow. I set that and relax my forearm. So my my right arm is really getting very soft. It's just kind of very sung, it's very it's hanging virtually. Left hand just holding its position here because it's it's acting as a reference point. You know the pose in opposition there. So I'm going to turn. Turn, 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 turn. As I do that, I'm reaching with my right wrist. Notice that my fingers are relaxed. They're, they're, they're kind of dangling as I do this. I'm turning, turning, turning till I get all the way around. And then I'm reaching here. My right palm is in front of my chest, uh, is centered of my chest. And then what do I do? And then I, uh, I open my fingers. I reach with my fingers and that completes the, the, the process. So I end up with this kind of thing. I get up here and then boom, here I am. I have my palm of my hand is right here, in the center of my chest and my forearm is, is, is very nice and relaxed, but the fingers have gone from hanging to, to having a shape. Okay, they've got, they're, they're full now. All right, so we go from there into the heel of the, of the right foot, we set the right knee and spiral down to the right, turning to the right, opening the heel of the left foot, set the left knee and feel your yaw spiral down to the, to the right as you're in your left leg now. You're loading up that left paw. So feel the, the continuity all the way from your foot to your fingers and now Use your yaw and turn, reaching, reaching, reaching with your fingers. And there you have it. There's your, your rollback. And just relax into that. Feel the tensegrity of the structure doing the work for you so that you can relax your muscles. You're, you're using your connective tissue to do the work. So your muscles are, are doing very little in the way of creating a form for you. 
And by doing that, you create space in the interior space that allows the chi to flow. Okay, and step in. Take a deep breath, inhale. Put the balls of your feet, feel yang, 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 and then heels and yin, yin, yin. Throw it all away, throw the chi away. You don't need it anymore. Great. Empty out. Great. Please uh, have a seat. Hmm. Ah. How we do, guys? Good, 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 good. Okay. Too much, too little. Just right, just right. Okay, good, good. Okay. Any questions, comments, anything you'd like to share with the with the folks at home? Nick. Yeah, uh, heavy. It's a when you get into that and you really get that the yin in the movement, it feels really solid and heavy, substantial in in that way, rather than the kind of up and out sub substance of yang. It's just very. It's like nobody's going to lift you off the ground there, you know. <laughs> cool, beautiful. Anybody else? Scott. Uh, yeah, you know, I've got I had a lot to release this week and it was very helpful for all of that. Getting letting, letting go of stuff and um there were constant reminders to let go and do, you know, less less tension is just very helpful. I mean I thought I was I thought I was releasing more until I started paying attention to it and I was really like, oh yeah, there's a lot more there than I'm holding on to. <laughs> 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 Understood. Yeah. Uh, Lynn. Yeah, I would second what Scott did, said in a slightly different way is it is possible that in the past I have been impatient with the slow, slow, slow turning, turning, turning. Um, and been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know it'd be shocking yes. to find gas. <laughs> um, but, but, um, I mean, I bet it's been. I've been getting less impatient, but tonight I was just really like, I'm just here. Oh, now I'm here. Where does he want me now? Every place, every place you, you <laughs> told me to go, I was just like, well, this is the best place. You know, I just really felt. <laughs> Great. I, I think it was because I really got the poles in opposition. So I nice. really felt that, that full power going through. So Beautiful. That was great. Thank Beautiful. you. Cool. Valerie. That uh, breakdown of uh, going from ward off into rollback, you know, shifting the weight into the left heel, then the uh, left ball, that was really cool. <laughs> was really, really cool. I, I, had, I had never really done it. Well, obviously, I had never done it that way. So to actually do it and feel the power there was um, quite marvelous. Fabulous, great, good. Yeah, that uh, that shift between the heel and the ball is a uh, uh, it's it's a biggie. It's a biggie going from you know controlling your yin and yang with uh, with your your foot placement is uh, uh, it's it's really helpful, and you can do a lot. Without without doing anything, just by just by feeling you know which part of your foot you're you're taking the energy into, you can you can be standing in line at the bank and uh, and be doing qigong right there with uh, without without anybody knowing. Cool. Anybody else? Cool. Okay. Um, 
We're going to say something else there. Oh, something about the uh, the heaviness. And uh, uh, there is, we want to really explore the heaviness, the, the sense of the body being very heavy and be able to get that feeling of the, the yin heaviness because there's a, a step beyond that where once you're able to do that, you're, you then are able to feel the energy getting heavy and the body getting very light. And uh, that becomes a, uh, you know, becomes another, another thing to play with as we go along here, but really take, take your time with just the sense of, of body heavy because it, uh, uh, we, our nervous system particularly responds to that. It says, oh, I can spot that. I can feel that. And then it gives you an attaboy and, and then you're, uh, you feel, you know, very accomplished in that because you're able to make a subtle distinction there. And so there's a, uh, you know, but just, just to let you know that there's, as we uh, unpeel the onion here, you know, we keep uh, finding new and new, new layers in this thing. So, uh, so uh, this is where we are right now. That's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say and enjoy the heck out of it. Cause it's, it's a whole bunch of fun. Great. Well, thank you all so much. Uh, do you have some, Jonathan? Yeah, just just to clarify on that. So the body heavy, but the heavier the body, would it be more reaching with the crown of the head? There'd be always that contrast of going up that you never want to kind of get lose touch with and might feel more in contrast to the body being heavy? Yes. And and then beyond that, there's there's something even more... You know, it's more more shen whenever we mm. go beyond that you know where mm. where the density of the energy itself becomes mm. substantial and insubstantial right you're you're able to feel like okay this is the yin chi is heavy because it is different than the yang chi and so it feels it feels denser so even though your body is very light you know your 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 energy is 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 heavy so then you can uh then you can do tricks with that too. So there's all these things are, are poles in opposition and depending on, on where your mind can create them, you get new experiences of substantial, insubstantial, yin and yang, and that gets uh, more fun as we go along. So, yeah, Scott. Well, I find that the more, the more yin I get, the more I have to focus on reaching to keep the balance personally. Right. Yeah, me too. Me too. I agree. Cool. Okay. Thank you all so much. Thank, thank you. Thank Love you, Maria. Everyone.